So here we have the WXR and we did some fast printing or semi fast printing as this printer is pretty capable with linear rails. But I do have to say that it's definitely not optimized for super fast printers as it is somewhat software limited and won't push itself past around 200 to 250 millimeters a second. So the printer has been updated to the latest firmware and everything is up to date. We are using Wuxin branded PLA that came with the printer, which is black. Everything's printed in 0.2 layer height and we have five calibration cubes here and five benches. So the speeds on the calibration cubes are 50, 100, 150, 200, and 300. Now what I did was I sliced one print at 100 millimeters a second and then I adjusted the speed on the dial here in the settings to speed it up from 100% to let's say 150, 200, 300. So yeah, that's how we sped everything up. But yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and look at the calibration cubes. So this is all of them together from 50 here, 100, 150, 200, and 300. So as you can see, there's not a huge difference between the three and the two. The 150 is looking also pretty close, honestly. 100 is sort of uh, kind of looks like the rest of these and the 50 looks kind of the cleanest, I guess. So let's look at the 100 and the 300 to kind of show the biggest difference here. And it's quite minimal. And you guys can see there is a difference, but it's not huge. That was the X, here's the Y. A little more vibrations, a little bit more ghosting. The walls look quite identical. A little bit more vibrations here, artifacts. And here we have the other side. So yeah, I guess the biggest question would be what's the time difference? So between the 100 and the 300 is not much of a time difference as the 100 finished in 22 minutes and the 300 finished in 16 minutes. And they practically look identical. So we had 28 minutes on the 50, 22 on the 100, 19 on the 150, 17 on the 200, and 16 on the 300. Yeah, definitely seems to print very decently well at around 250, 200. Now for best quality, it looks like anywhere from 50 to about 80 or so. And that brings us to our benches there in the back. So we have a 50, which took one hour and 20 minutes, and then a 75, which took one hour and five minutes, and then a 100, which took 58 minutes. You guys can see it's not making much of a difference 150 took 52 minutes and then 200 is at 50 minutes so we're really losing the ability to go faster but I think I'd recommend if you want to print quick somewhere in the 200s maybe 180s or 150s would probably be optimal but let's go ahead and look at the 50 and the 75 which I feel like is a good step up here so 50 looks really clean and really nice as you would expect and the 75 also turned out really well now the only place it kind of struggled was here up front. But other than that, it looks pretty good. There is a little more vibrations and I can see more ringing. So yeah, but still very good control for 75. But then again, the 50 looks perfect. So here we have 100 and you guys can see it looks pretty decent. Do have a little bit more problems here. But other than that, the structure itself looks pretty good. You can see it started to look a little more rough, but still very nice. And this is only at 100 guys. And then 150 starting to look even more artifacty, but still pretty compliant. Still have the same problem here. Now this could be, you know, part of how I sliced it or whatnot else, but I'm not too sure. And maybe because I used the eternal way to speed it up, which caused some issues with printing too quick on certain corners and things like that. So, and here we have the 200 millimeters, which is still stuck to the bed and pops right off. Build tack sticks really well and the bed is completely cold. But yeah, here's the 200 and yeah, it's looking pretty artifacty there. So I didn't print anything faster than this as it seemed pretty pointless as the print started to degrade too much in my opinion for it to be worthwhile unless you're maybe printing something more boxy and not so detailed. So yeah, on the benches, you guys can see from the 75 to 200, that's 15 minutes saved. And yeah, they look kind of similar. So this is 75 and this is the 200 here. You guys can see mostly up front how much more artifacts is on the 200. The 75 definitely looks cleaner, looking quite decent. So I would definitely say that if you want to print really fast, I don't think this printer is really made for that, but if you want quality prints that fuse very well and actually already pretty optimized because this benchy here at 50 is already optimized in the slicer to, you know, have all the acceleration controls and the movements and things like that to only be an hour and 20 minutes, which is a perfect print. So it is almost twice as fast as a normal older style printer already just at 50 millimeters being sliced in the Wuxin slicer, pushing it much, much farther doesn't make 
any sense as there's minimal gain and more of a destruction in quality so yeah anywhere from 50 to 70 would probably be the sweet spot and anything about that is you know depending on what you're printing if it's something more simple you can obviously print it at faster speeds with no issues so yeah overall i would say the wxr is optimized for precision and quality more than speed